I need a haircut. Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson. I'm a wedding cinematographer, and as of this month, I will have been shooting weddings for six years, which is pretty crazy to think about. But um, with those six years, I have learned some things, and I'm trying to give back to the community by making reviews and training and tutorials to help other people like you become better wedding cinematographers. To date, I've made reviews for the Sony a7S II and the FS5, and I've also made some other videos that help out with different facets of wedding filmmaking. But easily, the most common question that I've received since I started doing these is, what picture profile should I use when shooting with the Sony a7S II? Now keep in mind that this is just my favorite picture profile that I've used after testing. I've shot four weddings with it so far and I'm really enjoying it. But just because I'm enjoying it for shooting a wedding doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to enjoy it if you're shooting, say, a movie where you have full control over the lighting and you can really dial everything in. What I'm saying is that depending on what you're shooting, there may be a better picture profile for you. But for me, shooting weddings, this is one of the quickest and easiest ways that I've found to get a good image. Just because it's my favorite doesn't mean it has to be your favorite, and I'm sure some of you have different opinions than me because there's nothing that people enjoy talking about more than minute camera details. Myself included, but still. Keep in mind that I like to shoot according to my needs, and I'm ideally looking for a picture profile with a wide dynamic range and a pretty flat image because I'm shooting in a variety of locations throughout the day. So I may be shooting in a hair salon at the beginning, followed by a hotel, then we go to the church, then we're to the reception venue that's really dark, and in the middle of all that we're going outdoors at various times. Ideally I will have a picture profile that I can set at the beginning of the day and then leave it throughout the day so that way I'm not doing any sort of finessing where I'm trying to like color grade mixed picture profiles and post. Ideally I can just have one throughout the day and it looks great. With all that considered, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, why don't you just shoot with S-Log2 or S-Log3 and just be done with it? And I have a couple reasons for not wanting to do that. The first is because the A7S II is only an 8-bit camera. And whenever you're shooting in one of the flatter picture profiles, like S-Log3, you can run into banding in the highlights. And you'll see that in the skies. If it's a perfectly blue day, you will see banding lines coming down through the highlights if you try to grade it too much. So I'm really wanting a picture profile that I can still grade relatively heavily and not run into banding. The other issue is that S-Log2 and S-Log3 require you to shoot at ISO 1600, which is worlds better than the 3200 ISO required of the first generation A7S. But that still is relatively high, and because I'm shooting outdoors so often at a wedding, and I don't have control over the lighting like I would on a movie set where I could just diffuse things, my really only option if I'm shooting an S-Log2 or S-Log3 is to slap an ND on and hope for the best, and I would really prefer to not have to do that every single time I go outside. The last issue is that S-Log2 and S-Log3 require almost overexposing the image. They want you to get really close to overexposure so that you maximize the dynamic range throughout the rest of the image. But what can happen with that is that it's sometimes really hard to say, am I overexposed, am I not? And having to make that sort of snap second judgment whenever you're shooting a wedding where you don't have a lot of time to fine tune your shot can be difficult. So I would ideally like to avoid that. Also, half the time I'm shooting a wedding reception, which is usually very dark and does not require the high dynamic range that S-Log3 offers anyways. With all that out of the way, I'd like to share with you my favorite picture profile. And I'm sure I'm going to butcher his name, but I would like to thank Marion Breithauer from the Netherlands at MarionHo.com for first posting about this picture profile. So what you're going to do is grab your fancy schmancy A7S II. You're going to hit the menu button. You're going to go to the camera icon on the top left. Go to number five and scroll down to picture profile. And then you're going to scroll down to PP8 and hit right on the control wheel, so you'll go into select it and it'll bring up the settings for the picture profile. And that's gonna bring up a lot of fun stuff. If you have modified this picture profile, I recommend going down to the bottom and hitting reset and resetting it back to its default. And now we're gonna do one thing. That's it for this entire picture profile. We're gonna go to the gamma and we're gonna change it from S-Log3 to Cine4. That's it. Everything else remains the same. Black level zero, black gamma middle level zero, knee mode auto, just leave all that the same. Um, saturation zero, saturation phase zero, detail negative seven. Leave everything as it is. That's, that's your picture profile. Congratulations, you've said it. You made one change and that's it. What you end up with is a decently flat image that has close to the same dynamic range as S-Log3, but without any of the cons and with several benefits. First, your minimum ISO is now 200, not 1600, which I'm pretty sure is a lot lower. Also, because the image is less flat, it's easier for you to gauge your white balance and your exposure. 
One other thing I would recommend that you do is shoot with your zebras on. This will tell you what's overexposed in your image. With this, you can set your zebras to 100 plus and shoot at a level a little bit below where they start to show up. That will give you a great image that maximizes your dynamic range. You're also now shooting in the S Gamut 3 scene color space, which Sony says is their latest color science and they say is their best to date. There's no green tint, they've added a lot of reds back in, the skin tones don't look plasticky. I think it's really phenomenal and it's really starting to compete with Canon's color science. Granted, I'll probably get some hate from Canon fanboys for saying that and they'll raise pitchforks saying that Canon has the best skin tones right out of the camera and there's no need to even learn color grading with skin tones that good. But I don't think this video is going to be able to convince them either way and I'm not trying to, so I'm going to let them shoot with their camera, I'm going to shoot with mine and we'll all be happy. Lastly, you can use the S-Log3 Gamma Display Assist with this picture profile, but it does make the image look pretty oversaturated. I prefer to leave it off, but I will turn it on sometimes whenever I need to double check white balance, make sure it looks right. Good luck with this picture profile. I recommend testing it out yourself and seeing how you like it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. In the future, I'm going to be making another video showing how I color grade this picture profile too. And like I said at the start of this video, this is just my current favorite picture profile. This doesn't have to be yours. And in a couple months, I may switch and use something else. Sony may come up with some picture profile that offers 20 stops of dynamic range and actually causes the camera to make tacos. At which point, I, I'll probably start shooting with that. But keep in mind the best picture profile is the one that you enjoy shooting with, that you enjoy grading, and that helps you tell the best story. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one below or send me a message through my website, whoismat.com. You can also check out my wedding film production company at filmstrong.com. Thanks and have a great day.